Hi guys, I've been asked to demonstrate how to paint the um, paint out to apply it and today I'm going to show you the things I do. That's my normal brush I do for painting the car itself, the body panels. It's a made by Purdy, good quality brush, nice and soft but stiff at the same time if you get me drift, more springy. That's a tipping brush. Once you've painted it on, in the big panels and things, you smooth it off just the weight of the brush on it. Just like that, nice and gently. And it takes all the brush strokes out. This is my other brush. This is by Harris. This is a brilliant brush, this. I'm gonna use this today to paint this um, boot lid. But it's ideal, that, for what we need. This is the paint. That's the paint I'm using. Old English white. Now you put that on neat to start with for the first two coats and then you thin it with this up to 10%, no more than 10%. So you pour it out in a little bit of um, a tin, say 300 mils and probably add about 28, something like 30 mils, maximum 30 mils um, of, of this stuff and mix it in well and it'll go very thin and runny. And then I put, I don't know if you can see this, I've got a slow cooker here. You can just out of, out of camera, I think. But I've got a tin in it, an old tin that I've used, that I've used up from the original paint. And I've poured it in. And I've, I'll just show you what it looks like when it's mixed. If I can get a stirrer, just bear with me. There's one. Um, it's boiling water in there, I poured in originally, and then I've just left it on hot. And it, it looks like that, very runny. So you've got to be very careful what you're doing, because otherwise you've got runs everywhere. Wipe off the bottom of the tin from water, from the bottom of the slow cooker. And I'm just going to use solely this brush today. So I'll just show you now. You dip it in and you start at the edge, wiping it on. Sorry about the camera shake, it's the lid moving, hang on. Might be better that way. I'll hold it if I can. That's better. Brush it on. Nice and quick. You've got to be fairly quick. You've got to keep a wet edge. I'm not dipping a lot of paint in, and all you do then is go over it gently, like that, very, very gently, until you get to the edge where it's wet. And then carry on, a bit more paint, go overlapping where you've just been. You don't have to worry about runs even because. If you want to build up the layers like I've been doing, the runs don't really matter as long as it's not running everywhere. If you have run here and there, it's not so bad because you can rub it back. Then you put the next layer on. And that, you can see it, but you can't see it really in there because it's, I've got the lights on it actually. But I'm just running it across now. And I'll show you in a second what it looks like. on the wet edge, gently on it again. You can actually see the lines disappearing in front of your eyes, it's fantastic stuff. And if you're doing bigger panels, the only thing you've got to do is keep the paint warm. So after about, say I've done this boot lid, if I'm going on to say, I don't know, the bonnet, afterwards I won't just leave the tin out like that, I put it back in the heat just heat it up, it just makes it flow easier. Plus with the additive of the PPA, what it's called, additive, it makes it a lot easier. So you just brush it out and then feather it across. That's all it is, it's feathering they called it, I think years ago, but, uh, sorry, no, they called it tipping years ago. Most people call it feathering out, 
to decorate it, as people call it now. But it's the same thing. And all you do is just go across like that. Make sure you cover all the nooks and crannies. You don't mind if you wrap it on like that and then smooth it off. As long as you smooth it off afterwards, don't just whack it on because you'll have brush coats all over the place if you do. You've got to feather it across. That's the trick. And then leave it alone. Don't, if, you, if you see a run on it, after you've, say, up, up this end now, I wouldn't touch it because if I do, it's, uh, it's forming a skin on it very, very quick. And there's a hair there. Um, and if you do, you'll smudge it and make a right mess of it. So the thing is to leave it well alone once you've put, applied the paint. You can't go back on top of the, the front edge I've just started, where I started from I should say. You've got to keep a wet edge. You can only go to the wet edge, which is here where I am now. You're out of camera now, aren't we? Sorry about that. And then you just smooth the edge off there. Just a little bit there. As long as you, you spot it before you, you call it a day, it's not so bad. Otherwise you'll be kicking yourself later when you've missed a bit. I've got lights on here so you can see what I'm doing. But uh, I've got a hair there, come out of the brush. Um, which is unusual, they don't normally come out of this brush. But hey. And that is that, as you say. Got a few bits flying about here. It don't matter, I'm going to go with it anyway. I'm going to uh, smooth it. That'll flatten off that. And like that, that's it. And that's all there is to it, really, basically. Just give you a bear with me. I'll just put the camera on. You can see what it dries like. Well, it's not drying. It'll dry a lot better than that once it's. It seems to just merge in together. I don't know why, what it is. But I hope that helps. And if you've got any questions, or you've got any help, or advice, don't hesitate to contact. And I'll, uh, I'll help you as much as I can. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.